Hi everyone. Good morning and happy spring equinox. I'm so excited that spring is going to start springing forward regardless of what's going on. So I wanted to start uh, today doing some series of videos uh, starting today and going through April 8th as a way to help people stay calm, stay focused on what we know to be true beyond what appears to be happening. And so today I thought how lovely to start with spring equinox. So what my intention is for the 21 days is that we're going to be bringing through things that will help you spiritually, things that will help you physically, mentally, emotionally, and they won't be any longer than a half an hour. But hopefully it gives you something to look forward to in your day and you're able to do it. We'll have things like breath work, yoga, um, just different, a whole bunch of different things. EFT, ways to help you shift in whichever way you choose. And hopefully every day we'll have a message besides. So I'll be doing, bringing this through along with Gerard will be doing some of it and Christine will be doing the um yoga so excited about restorative yoga since i can't seem to get out and get to the class so we'll be doing many different things that you have to look forward to and it's kind of like a sampling of you know many things because sometimes people want to know what we do and what we offer and they don't really know what they're all about. So this way here gives you a little sampling, gets you to know me a little better, know Gerard a little better, and all of that. So I hope you enjoy um, what we're going to be bringing through. So today, spring equinox, this is a wonderful time for us to do ritual. So I thought how appropriate on day one to think about doing ritual. And this is an important time as we move forward. And so this is a time when everything is coming back to life. Things are starting to stir under the ground. Things are starting to stir to come to us. We're at a new um, turn of the wheel. We're starting to think about us springing back to life. And just for a moment on a personal level, you know that I've had that concussion since September 27th. And I've been on strict guidelines from spirit about what I can do and what I can't do. And it's interesting because I knew that when the middle of March would come, I would be feeling better to start doing the videos I planned on doing last year, starting in January. So here we are. It turns out this is the perfect time I started a couple days ago. And with the boost of energy that's coming through from the sun and the moon itself, this is a wonderful time. So what I plan on doing is utilizing this energy in the best way possible. So I want you to start thinking about what is the best way to utilize this time you've been given as, as we haven't had um, much to do in the world if you're observing what you're supposed to be doing right now working from home many of you and whatever being home from school taking care of your children and so looking at how can we best utilize this time and so you know in january we're in a place of allowing ourselves to um think about, oh, our goals in January and where we're going and everything. And now here we are in the middle to end of March. And how are you doing with those goals? So if in January or January 1, you put out an intention that you were going to release some weight or you were going to, you know, be better with organizing your house or whatever it is, this is definitely the time to check back in and look at, do those goals still hold value for you? And am I doing what I said I'd do? And it's really important not to break your word to yourself, even though we all do it from time to time. And so 
what I'm looking at is using this time to get back on track with a food plan, to get back on track with exercise. Fortunately, we're not totally confined to the house, so I've been out walking every day. And we can do things like that or floor exercises or whatever it is for you or cleaning out closets and attics and cellars and getting rid of and getting rid of so we can prepare for something greater coming in. So that's where I want to bring you to, to really look at, you know, what am I doing? What did I say I was going to do this year and where do I need to get back to? So getting back to spring equinox, um, I've set up just a small little altar here and everything on this altar has value to me. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I have brought Archangel Michael in because we certainly need Archangel Michael right now with what's going on in the world. I have brought in a rose quartz heart to remember the love. That's where we need to be, not the fear, to remember the love, not only for us and our friends and our family, but for the whole world. And then we have the feminine energy represented and we have the male energy represented. And I have Ganesh here and Ganesh is the remover of obstacles. So any obstacles for this healing, we want to remove. And I want to say not only obstacles, in the way of what's going on that we can see with the virus and everything else. But what about the obstacles for us making a change? Because certainly there is that part of us that wants things to change, but we couldn't slow down enough to make the change because we're too busy trying to make a living and doing whatever else we're doing. And so there's no time. So now we have time. What are we going to do with it? And also this card, which I love, which um, basically looks like a chalice. We either have the gold or the silver side, the feminine and the male energy here. So I wanted this on here and certainly a candle. And the candle I'm burning is manifest a miracle. And my intention was for the whole world. And then... I have a seashell here that has to do with all the waterways and keeping them healthy and clean and water in the chalice here as well and the air element, the feather, the air. Um, and the last thing I have is the animal kingdom, the owl, wisdom. And it's interesting because in many of the books, the owl has to do with deception and what I want to say to you is that, you know, everybody has their own idea of what's going on right now. But this is for us to discern within ourselves what feels right to us, what doesn't, what do we need to pay attention to. And the owl flies silently and flies at night so no one sees it. And this to me was very appropriate for this session. So today, I had to cancel the Equinox ceremony I was going to do tonight. So what I wanted to tell you is make sure you are doing something for yourself today. Whether it's lighting a candle, you know, sometimes we get so specific about, oh, get a white candle or a pink candle or whatever. Get whatever candle you have and set the intention that you are lighting a candle for purification, not only in your own life and in your own heart, but for the whole world as well. And just allowing yourself to burn away any of the drop. And my other intention that I put out was that as I lit the candle, it was to burn away anything that was illusionary so we could see the truth of what's going on in the bigger picture. So you might do that as well. Um, the other thing is you might want to set an altar up for yourself, something representing earth, air, water, and fire. And to really put some sacred things on your altar, this is just a, a little one I just threw together really quickly. 
Um, this isn't what I normally do, but just so you could see. And just putting things, if, if, if Mother Mary is the goddess that you really love, put a picture of her. <coughs> Okay, you'll have to forgive me on the, you'll have to forgive me on this one. Um, mailman, mailman on this. So I'm gonna just close the blind. Okay, and almost caught my picture on fire. Well, these are the things that happen. That you you know it's kind of funny because when you think of it, these are things that you can't predict, right? Things are always happening. So sorry about that. Um, so anyways, I forgot what I was saying now, but anyways, you want to do something to honor yourself. So what we're doing is lighting a candle, doing a little meditation, sitting quietly, listening to a audio that may be on, um, one of the great apps they have with meditations, listen to an audio and um, just allow yourself to shut down from the busyness of everything that's going on. Okay. And then you might want to do a write and burn where you sit and you get a piece of paper and we usually say use parchment paper, but it really doesn't matter. And to, um, Write down everything you're afraid of, you want to get rid of, all of that, and write it and fold it away from you and burn it. But please be careful burning. Um, just allowing yourself to get rid of it and be in a place of letting go, especially at this time with everything going on or with the fears that are going on uh, for, for you or for family members or whatever. Um, also, connect with others. So whether you're doing it on the phone or however you choose to do it, still make your connections because that makes us feel better about things. And that's why I wanted to do this um, during this time. And then write out what you want to bring to you and writing it on a paper as you do part of the rituals because tomorrow the energy, sorry, today, the energies are right where they need to be and you want to bring those in. So as you light your candle and you ask for purification and the truth to be shown, you know, remake your commitments to yourself that you're willing to start because before you know it, we're going to be in the full throes of spring and summer and nobody knows really how long all of this is going to last, but we're going to be prepared and be in a state of harmony. Okay. Um, I do. I would like to just imagine doing a healing circle. So I'm going to imagine that all the people that normally come to my class and all of you, whoever you are, whether you're known to me or unknown to me, um, that we're all joining a massive circle and we're all holding hands and we're asking to God, Goddess, all that is, all the master teachers and guides, all our spirit angels, helpers, guides, all our teams, we're asking you to bring healing to this planet in the form of light and in the form of whatever we need at this time in order to help us to heal and to heal all its people in protection for everything that is of the light. So we ask that in the center of this circle, we put everyone on this planet that's of the light in the center, and we send the light to all those who are confused at this time and perhaps not following the light and where they need to be. And we send that message out to the world for health and healing. 
and especially to all those that are first responders on the front lines, the doctors, the nurses, the EMTs, everybody, the police, everybody, firemen that are on the front lines, we thank you for your service and we send light and healing to you. Okay. So this is um, the Christ Consciousness Spray by Claire Luft. I'm just going to spray myself with that. And my intention is to bring through a short message, and then I'm going to read the three cards I pulled for today. Dear ones, this is a time like no other time. You should be proud of yourself for the changes that you've already started to make. We are seeing many that are in fear, but we are also seeing many that are pulling together to help one another, even in the early stages of this. We say that you are learning well, you are learning how to take care of yourself for you can no longer wait for someone else to take care of you you can no longer wait for your government or your boss or your teacher or whoever to take care of you at this time this is an individual journey you are going through and as you go through this individual journey you will learn much about yourself and others we say to you do what feels right in your heart and soul because that will be different for everyone based on where you are in the moment and what your conditions are. Many surround you in the light. Please call on us and ask us to help assist you in whatever way is possible at this time. We are here for you now. We are here for you always in all ways and yes it is true you knew this day was coming you may not have known how it would manifest but you knew the changes were coming and yet many of you seem to be surprised we ask that you hold the light hold the light and be the shining example for the children and for your elderly and for anyone else who holds fear and feels alone at this time. It is important that you're allowed to shine in the brightness of who you really are. And you illumine the path for others as you move forward in the days ahead. Do not be fooled by what is going on. Again, like this one said, trust your discernment and do what feels right to you. It really is an individual path you're on, although it will affect the collective in the days ahead. Stay positive. See it as a reset and reboot. And know we surround you and your earth at this time. Namaste. So next we're going to go into the messages. The first one is from Rebecca Campbell, Want to Work Your Light. And the card that came was Star Mother. How can you mother yourself? So I'm going to read. It says, you are more held than you could possibly imagine, loved and cherished so dear deeply that if you knew you would not spend one second of your life in separation, worry, or fear, let the mother carry your burdens, her rock away your fears, lay all of your worries, regrets, shame, and guilt on her altar. Please, please, sweet child, do not fear. You are love in motion. 
if you allow, if you allow it, you are already healed. Let her remind you of her goodness and yours. Let her love away your fears. Your capacity to love and hold others is limited to your capacity to love and hold yourself. Be compassionate with your sweet body, mind, and soul. Treat yourself like the beautiful spirit that you truly are. Remind yourself that you are doing your best and try not to carry it all on your own. You have got this, and the mother energy has got you. Let her broad arms take away your burdens. Let her lift the weight of the world off your shoulders. Forgive yourself, my dear, sweet child of the earth. So that always reminds me of Mother Mary, the beauty and the energy of her message to call her in at this time for self-healing and compassion. The next card I pulled was from the Lightworker Oracle by Alana Fairchild in its Family of Light. Very interesting after the message. Family of Light. And I'm going to read the shorter version of this. The limits that much of humanity place on their love, that they will love their own family, country, religion, or community better than any love those... Oh, better than they love those on the outside do not restrain your heart you are capable of loving all of humanity of loving all creations on earth as an extended spiritual family you will love all as your own you are meant to belong to a broader family of light well boy doesn't that make sense that you know it's not just about the u.s it's the whole world that's being tweaked right now and it's about healing for the whole world and calling on those beings of light. The last uh, message I have is, I was drawn to go to the Druid Plant Oracle uh, by Will Worthington. And it's interesting because two of them were stuck together. The first one was Fur Club Moss. And this is about initiation, new beginnings, and power. It says size is in everything. If you've chosen this, it means that something apparently small and even insignificant has entered your life, which may prove to be very powerful. Although it is a very small plant, the fir club moss was descended from the giants of the primeval forest that now supply coal. The power and warmth that coal can bring is echoed in the way that moss can be used to start a fire in the world. Choosing this card augurs well if you are starting a new project. Never be dismayed at humble beginnings with patience. Something that begins small or locally can grow to limits unimagined. The same principle holds for spiritual initiation. Taking the first step on a path may not necessarily give you dramatic mystical ex experiences at the outset, but in the beginning lies great power, and in time you may well look back and realize how much your life has changed because of this time. It is also possible that this indicates that you're finally starting to see clearly. Until now, your understanding or perspective on a situation has been impaired, perhaps through lack of emotional distance, but now it is as if a veil has been drawn aside and something unmistakable is emerging. So that's the clarity we talked about with what is going on. Very interesting. We're able to see clear and out of something that we're being asked that's so small by comparison of making a shift in this world can be something massive. And the other card that was stuck together was the Banes. And this one says, power, unexpected aid, and relief. And it says, life can sometimes see, um, seem almost unbearable. If you have chosen this card, it may mean that you are surrounded by pressure at this time or difficulties, but life is fundamentally mysterious. And out of the blue, something can happen that's a catalyst for change. We are so used to the high drama and big stories of movies and television that we forget the immense power of the smallest things. Just one remark of a friend or stranger, one line in a book, 
or a drawing realization of your own can trigger a new direction in your life or a turning point in your affairs. Such a gift may be coming to you to form a completely unexpected direction, bringing a relief to your situation that you would have never imagined. Consumerism has trained us to look for the biggest when really we should be looking for the best. So they're all leading to one thing if we sum them up. Call in the mother energy to support you at this time and to feel nurtured in love. Call in the family of light from the other side, from the divine on the other side of the veil. And call in the family of light in terms of our connection, all of us. And then the last one, the fur club moss initiations and new beginnings coming out of this and the banes that something greater than we can imagine is happening here. So it's so much bigger than just a virus. I don't want to say just a virus, but it's so much bigger than the virus. There, there's lasting change that can come out of this. So what I leave you with is love to each one of you. I apologize for my dog going berserko, but that's the way life is. So I'm going to leave it in. And what I want to say to each of you, if you can pass this on, maybe it will give relief to somebody else. Post it on your Facebook or pass it along to somebody who may need some love in their life or a little less fear. And let's do this. I love you all and care about you very, very much. And I just want to say happy spring equinox. Thank you.